Hi, I'm Victoria McLean and welcome to my, for today, Pin Fanatic YouTube channel. <laughs> pin badges. Let's face it, in the Harry Potter community, we love pin badges. Now, I have got some incredible ones to show you, including some from me, um, and also ones you can win with discount, discount codes on shops as well. So, if you'd like to see what pin badges I have to show you today, then keep on watching. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? Let's get started. <gasps> So today I am using Narcissa Malfoy's wand. It is a beautiful wand, I've gotta be honest, it is a stunning wand, however, it is incredibly uncomfortable. So she would have had hands of steel by the end of it because of the pokey bits. So I'm gonna put it back before I break it. During the last 24 hours, I have had some incredible, incredible things arrive at my home, including a stunning cabinet from Valentine's Miniatures that was given to me as a gift for everything I've done for them uh, since they started, which I just did it because I loved it, you know? I love Sean Valentine's work, but I will be doing a full video on that cabinet very, very soon, so stay tuned. But for today, it's all about pin badges, so first of all, I wanna show you one. This is up for grabs at the moment. It is the limited edition Halloween, a Harry Potter pin seekers pin badge that was released I think last month it is absolutely gorgeous if you want to win this check out all the details below because you can win this and the competition ends in just a few days so make sure you check out the details for that and also my pin boxes have finally arrived there is only there's less than 40 well there was less than 40 pins left a couple of days ago I haven't checked this is the beautiful box that the pin badges come in this is my always logo and um, they are currently being shipped to people that have already bought them and I have signed and numbered every single box obviously as well and then inside the box is my beautiful new pin badge so if you, and this is all velvet here, it's all beautifully, beautifully presented. Now underneath this lid is a little quote, especially from me to anybody who buys this pin, and this is what you mean to me. So, but if you want to find out what I have written to you all, then you have to buy these pins. But uh, when I told the lady what I wanted in the lid of the box, she was like, oh, so um, if you want to read that you have to buy the pin so it's beautiful absolutely beautiful these boxes are stunning and again these are limited edition boxes as well so today is all about as I said pins now I have had a brilliant pin box from I don't know how to pronounce it but I'm gonna say GUI studio and uh, I've got to say right if you like my always pin okay my always pin my you're a wizard pin this person doesn't know okay but the inspiration for doing that scene that window in that sort of design it was one of my favorite scenes from the film was inspired by one of the pins that this company actually did obviously there's nothing like that in their collection and um, that was purely my own design but the inspiration for it came from them and they don't actually know it so that's little news for you isn't it but this company right when they messaged me to say can I send you a box of pins I did I did I was full present I was all professional right I was like you know oh of course yes but at the back I was like yes like this because their designs are to die for if you love pin badges you are going to love this company so this is a new box that they do I don't know exactly um with a, with everything that you get in the box uh but this box is obviously containing little extras as well for me but the pin badges are incredible and this wonderful company are giving you 10% off for your order um, using the code Victoria. So I will put all the links down below for you. So let's go, let's go into it. I straight into it because I've yapped for like five minutes. Let's go into it. Now I'm not gonna lie, I know what's in this box because the person couldn't remember what they'd sent me. So I, I've sent pictures of everything that I've had. So let's have a look at this first. Okay, so we have a little note here with a beautiful wax seal there. 
I've never done a, a, a pin badge video, have I? As in like a full unboxing video of pin badges. So this is a really nice thing to do. I love the envelope with a little wax seal. Right, so Magical Fan Art Box, this is called. So this is the card that I've received. And this is the box that if you buy this box, this is what you're going to get. Magical Fan Art Box. And inside is a list of everything that you will get. Like that, just like that. I'm not showing you anything else. But that's what I love, is I get to show you and the, the main pin that I fell in love with is actually in this box. So uh, let's get started. So first of all, they've actually sent me a box inside with a gift. So I'm gonna show you. Obviously I've looked at all of this already. I couldn't not, I'm sorry, I couldn't not. It was like one of those boxes where you look at. I didn't know what it was. I opened it and it was like, oh. Okay, I'm in love. Right, so anyway. This, I think, is like tape or something. So it's a little tiny box. GUI Studios. So it is, it's like, it's like reels of tape. I'm not 100% sure, or ribbon. But it's really, really, really amazing. I'm trying to get it to focus on these. There we are. So we've got that there, and we've got like foiling kind of tape or ribbon. We've got Draco there and so on. But these items are amazing. So this was a gift, so I will be opening them later. So we have, we have a number one there. So I'm gonna open this one. And again, this is something that you would get in the box. You ready? This I think is my favorite one, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's my favorite one. All right, okay, so there's the pin, right? Okay, this is my favorite one, right? I am gonna have to rearrange my entire pin shelf to fit these because that's how much they mean to me, these pins, is the fact that they are just to die for. Now this, is scenes from Hogwarts. Let me have a look at the uh, wizard's checklist. This is called the Philosopher's Stone, this one. So I've taken it out of the packaging. Look at that pin badge. Just look at the detail on that pin. That is just something I never thought possible in a pin badge. You've got all like the acceptance letters and everything there. You've got Hogwarts Castle there. Is that the... Uh, you got the Hogwarts Express just there. It's like depictions of the film. You've got the Philosopher's Stone down there, and then you've got scenes here. But isn't that just, I've never seen a pin badge like it. This is what inspired me to do my pin badge. When I first saw this pin, I was completely and utterly blown away. I mean, obviously the pins are very different. But this pin badge was just something I never thought I'd ever see. And trust me when I say there are more like this in the box and they are to die for. So the next one is number two. <laughs> it's like an advent calendar, isn't it? Ah, oh, yes, I remember this one. This pin is called Beginning. I'm gonna show you it without the, I'm not tucking any rubbish on the floor because I've actually tidied my whole Harry Potter room. It's really immaculate, um, because it was a mess. We're putting decorations up since so we needed to get it all tidy. This one is called Beginning, and it shows Harry wearing the sorting hat. And there's a book as well in the background. You've got floating candles as well up there. But that is beautiful. You've got the Hogwarts Express, you've got Diagon Alley entrance, you've got Hedwig, and you've got, it's a book, HP book. That, may, that could be so many things. That could be a depiction to the first book. That could be a depiction, obviously, to the sorting. That could be a, a depiction of uh, going on the Hogwarts Express for the first time, of Hedwig bringing the broom. Oh, sorry, bring it, being given as a present. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful pin. So now we have the, uh, the box. This box is crammed so much so. When I took everything out of it, uh, putting it back in was hell because there was so much in it. So this is what I was greeted to. Look at all those, okay? There is so many pins in this box. It is just shocking. We've got some beautiful cards as well. Gryffindor Glory. We've got the GUI Studios card and then Artifact Vault hourglass so the first one i want to show you was one of my favorites from this box i'm going to take it out of its packaging it's a nice clear envelope like a plastic plastic envelope but i want to show you this close up i didn't know you could do this sort of pin badge 
This person is incredibly talented. So this one is part of the artifacts vault, as it says. It is the Slytherin Slughorn Hourglass, but it is just so incredibly beautiful. I fell in love with this pin, I really did. It is just so, so stunning. The idea of it, and it's sparkly as well. It's such a beautiful, beautiful design that it's kind of hard not to fall in love with it, even if you're not a Slytherin. I'm not a Slytherin. I say I'm part Slytherin. You can just about see the green there. My Slytherin hourglass is actually on that shelf. It's very hard to get off though. But that is such a beautiful, beautiful pin. I think this one's meant to be Draco Malfoy. See now, I don't, I'm not a massive fan of like the anime sort of style because that's the sort of thing I'm getting from this, but they don't look cartoony. They look like an old fashioned cartoon, which is more appropriate for me. Um, but these prints, are these prints, these pin badges are beautiful. I'm pretty sure this one is meant to be Draco Malfoy. Look at that, look at that. And he's even wearing Draco's ring. It's such a beautiful depiction of such an incredible, powerful, in a way, character. But I absolutely love the look of these pins, the colours, the turquoises and the blues, like a stained glass window in the back. This person has properly gone all out creating the des and designing these pin badges. They are just to die for. They are absolutely stunning. We've got another one. These, I love these designs, this, these ones. These are the classrooms. This is the Hogwarts greenhouse. Look at that. Look at that pin. I mean, what an amazing thing to do for a pin badge. The idea of having like, almost like a 3D look of the classrooms. And this, this is what I loved about this person. The creation of these pins is just outstanding. The artwork that's gone into them is just outstanding. I love their work so much. That one is beautiful. Seriously going to struggle now to find places to put these pins, but they've got to go up. I cannot have them not going up. I'm going to have to have a new pin bad shelf, I think. So this one is Harry. It's some sort of celebration to Gryffindor, I think, because you've got the golden snitch. It looks like you've got the Gryffindor lion. There's a tiny, tiny little crystal inside the Gryffindor lion eye. And of course, Harry with his iconic glasses. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that absolutely beautiful? It is so pretty. And just there, you have a little tiny crystal for the eye. And then obviously you've got a golden snitch here. Isn't that just stunning? Absolutely stunning. I'm gonna say this, well, no, this isn't. This, it looks like the classroom for uh, Professor Trelawney because of all the teapots. But look at that. If you love the scenes from Harry Potter, Professor Trelawney and so on, you're going to absolutely love these pins. Look at the detail, you've got little cups and everything, a little tray there, of a tea tro trolley with cups, beautiful stained glass window and I love these stunning lanterns and all the drapes, the fabric drapes which obviously she had in her classroom and there looks like a crystal ball just on the table in the middle there. But just the detail, the sheer detail of these pins is just outstanding. And I mean outstanding. I just love them. They are so incredibly beautiful. I absolutely love them. I, I absolutely love them. I, they're something that you could sit, it's like the, the Valentine's miniature cabinets. It's like you could sit there and just stare at these pins and notice all the tiny little details. Same with Valentine's Miniatures cabinets. You're sitting there and you're staring at every single little detail. The detail on these pins is, it's just ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous how so much, how there is so much detail in each and every pin. And that again is why I had the idea for the window and to put the little hints inside the window of what these, uh, what the scene was. Now there are even more um, scenes and so on, So, but I'm gonna move on to this one. There are so many pins to get through. It is just a delight to open this box. 
So we have Artifact Vault. We have a Butterbeer there. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? That is just so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. I love that. I just love the sparkle. So pretty. You know me, I have to have a bit of sparkle. Everything has to be sparkly. Um, so I'm not so keen on these badges, but then they're... I'm showing sure wait to show you at last. Not so keen on these badges, but that's just... That's just me. But then I'm not a massive fan of, of button badges anyway. So we've got one of Draco Malfoy there. The artist work is beautiful. We have the stunning Hermione just there. We have the wonderful Harry Potter again grabbing his acceptance letter. That's a beautiful picture. I, just for the pictures, I think they're worth it. Then you have gorgeous, handsome Ron there with the naughty scabbards. Scabbards? Scabbards as well. We have a lovely Harry Potter inspired key ring there with Harry, Ron and Hermione and there's the key ring part there up there. That's really nice, I like that. This box is crazy. This box is absolutely jam packed with things, okay? So we've even got postcards. So we've got a beautiful uh, Ronald Weasley there and it has the drawing on the back. We have Draco Malfoy just there and the drawing on the back. We have the gorgeous Harry grabbing his acceptance letter there with Hedwig as well. That's lovely, that is. And then the drawing on the back. Oh, this person is so talented. And then we have Hermione, obviously, in the Great Hall with the floating candles as well. And we have the drawing on the back there. So they are lovely. This is nice. This is also something that comes in the box as well. This is definitely going to be displayed, this is. This had a protector over it. I've just taken the protector off. Okay, so we even have a acrylic plastic scene here. Oh, so you can put a light behind it. Where's my phone? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So you can put a light behind that and, to, and make it so it glows like a candle. Don't put it too close though, because obviously it is plastic. But how beautiful is that? Or you could even, because I actually have got um lights that i can put underneath this look at that isn't that stunning that is absolutely beautiful i actually have like little tiny leds that flat ones to put things on and uh i could put that on there look at that that's beautiful that is obviously a, a display version of the pin badge that i showed you first okay we've got four pins left right and i these are other scenes i've got to show you because they're just artist depictions of each uh, thing from Harry Potter. They're not actually anything, you know, they, they don't have Harry Potter on them. This one, it took me a little while to figure out what it was, but it's the Defence Against the Dark Arts Classroom. Because you can see the, um, the skeleton that's hanging up there that Neville, that they uh, drop in Prisoner of Azkaban. And obviously the stairs where Lupin goes into his office here with Harry. And then you've got the... the um, Boggart uh, cabinet there. So this is this might be a reference to the prisoner of Azkaban. But isn't that beautiful? Absolutely just to die for. And then you've got the little cage there where the pixies were hidden as well. That's stunning. That's what I love about these pin badges. There's so much to, to see when you look at them. There's so much you can catch. You can tell I'm wearing my glass though. I've got a headache and I'm really struggling to see. I should put them on, I really should. They're upstairs though. I love these designs so much. So we have the next one. Oh, I know what this one is. It's, it's lovely because she's like looking at it thinking, oh, I know what it is, I know what it is. Okay, so this one is the Transfigurations classroom because you can see the bird in the corner just there and then the cage is where the animals were. Look at that. Just look at the detail of these pin badges. Look at isn't that beautiful? One, two, three, veraverto. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's, I love just looking and seeing what I can spot. Doesn't help that I need my glasses. Now this one is I think is gonna be a quite a favorite I reckon. Because it's one of my favourite scenes in Harry Potter and the Order of the... No, in the Half-Blood Prince. 
um, is the potion scene classroom with Slughorn when they're trying to do Draft of Living Death. It is the potions classroom. Look at that with the gold arches and of the cauldrons and the bottles, the brickwork and the arches on the top there and oh, it's just stunning. Absolutely beautiful. So genius that is. Look at that. Just look at it. The bottle of Felix Felicis just there on the try on the little stand. It's just amazing. I love this work. And then my one of my favourites, okay, left till last. Oh, the heating's come on, it's boiling in here. Is the Ravenclaw Common Room. Because we never get to see the Ravenclaw Common Room in Harry Potter. It's so annoying that we don't. Look at that. How beautiful is that? I oh, it's just incredible absolutely to die for I think it's safe to say that this person they've just blown any idea of pin badges out of the water absolutely to die for so stunning right we have one more thing to open which is a card with a blue wax seal but a Slytherin uh, with a blue color wax but a Slytherin wax seal right let's have a look Oh my god, that is crazy, look at that, look at that, I was not expecting that, I'm shaking, dear witches and wizards, now I can't understand what it says because I think it's Japanese, but it says yours, Draco Malfoy. Look at that. Oh my God. That is so, so beautiful. I love this. That's a card. That's a blooming card. What the hell? That is a card. That is so incredible. Oh, that's got to go on display. I just don't know where. I'll have to put it there for now. That is stunning. Honestly, this has been such a journey to take with this box and these pin badges. I'm so glad you guys were with me to do it. Uh, what can I say? There's a, um, a wizard's checklist here. And this is the, I can tell you now, this is a magical fan art box by GUI Studios. Uh, seven, it says up there, magical fan box. You've got number one, which is the Philosopher's Stone, the pin badge. Number two, the beginning. Number three, I, that's the, ha the Harry Potter key ring. Obviously, I can't understand what the writing is. Um, and then you've got the four postcards just here. Number five was the pin, was the button badges. And then number six was the little... Uh, acrylic display that I've put up there so that's really lovely of what you get in it regardless of where you are in the world um, I think this is just outstanding it is just outstanding and I really hope they they want to send me more pin badges because you know how I feel about pin badges um, we all love pin badges the hybrid community for some bizarre reason loves pin badges and um, so anyway what did you think of this box what did you think of the items what was your favorite if you can pick one um, let me know in the comments below until next time take care I love you all and I will speak to you very soon more of my content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe